not one, but two new probe zoom lenses from LaOA. You're watching Synity, supported by B&H and CVP. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Synity, and I'm here with Sean from LaOA. Sean, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Today, we have a very nice setup here at the back, and this is all about the new Probe Zoom lenses. But before we even dive and talk about those lenses, you, Lawa was one of the first companies to actually introduce this type of concept from what I remember, six, seven years ago. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the history and then we dive right into those new lenses. Absolutely, I think the, the probes put Lawa on the map for a lot of folks in the city world. Uh, it was one of the first lenses that we found in a lot of rental houses and still today, I mean, a lot of common rental houses can hardly keep them on the shelf. They go out quite a bit. They've they've really taken the uh, commercial tabletop space by storm. Um, initially, all the probes that were released were T14. Uh, then we came out with the Pro 2Bs uh, after the, the Perry probe, which was a T8. That was a big advancement in optics. Um, and this is even a bigger step forward in, in in optics uh, design and 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 what you can do with these. For those whom, who are not aware, why do you even need a probe lens in your production? I mean, it unleashes massive amounts of creative ability. It is a necessary tool for a lot of commercial work, without a doubt. But I've also seen folks uh, go into situations where it just unleashes creativity, especially in like the music video world and things like that. I was just talking with some folks where they were shooting a concert where basically they went right into the artist's mouth with the, with the probe and then came back out in, and cut to a different artist. It's really cool stuff that you can do with these. But um, getting the lens out of the way, getting the camera out of the way, and having the shaft of that lens being able to get into that subject, um, and the rest of your setup, the rest of your motion control unit being out of the way. These are all necessary things for a lot of folks. So the next step is actually making those lenses zoom, like zoom lenses, and obviously it sounds like very challenging from the tec technical uh, point of view. Tell me a little bit about the lens that we're gonna talk today. Well, there's a couple of them. So I'd love to talk about uh, both iterations. Uh, there's a 15 to 24 mil, and that is gonna be T8. There is a 15 to 35 mil, and that is gonna be a T12. A little bit slower, but you get that extra reach with the 11 extra millimeters. Um, there is four different barrel and lens configurations. You have three straight lens barrels. One of them is a direct view, just like the original probe. You have a 90 degree, kind of like the Perry probe. And then you have a 35 degree angle, which is very commonly used. And then also the periscoping. Uh, the periscope is the barrel angled down. And a lot of folks, in, they always ask, well, what is the purpose of this? Well, if you think about it, that's the way you get ground level with things. And if you start watching a lot of product photography, a lot of um, tabletop commercial work, you will see the camera moving right across the ground, right through food, yeah. whatever the subject is. And that's how you accomplish that. Because if you think about it, your camera's never really gonna get lower to the ground than this, right? But once it's on a head or it's on a motion control or something, maybe it'll never get lower to the ground than this. But the shaft of that lens angled downwards gets you there. Uh, a lot of my natural history folks love it too because they can get eye to eye with a little critter that's ground level. We're so used to seeing things like that being shot from top down kind of bird's eye. Gives you a whole new perspective. So both lenses, besides the uh, T-stop and the focal length, will act the same. You can, you can swap the, the end of the lens and change. Yes, absolutely. That's a great point right there, Johnny. Uh, it's a bayonet that you basically just undo. You can pull the shaft off and pop on the different configuration shaft. Um, but it should be noted, too, that you could have both the T12 and the T8, and maybe you have two different lens barrels. You could share them between the two if you need the extra reach of that 11 extra millimeters or you just need a little bit faster speed on the T-stop. Those are, se are sold separately or always together? Yeah, it's sold separately. We're still figuring out what the configurations are going to be um, when it comes to like packaging them together. Uh, but yeah. Any word about pricing, availability? Sure, absolutely. Uh, so the little bit shorter reach, the T8, uh, 15 to 24 mil will be about, it'll be $3,500 US. And the uh, T12 will be 4,000 US. How about mounts? What mounts those lenses will support? Just like always, all of them. <laughs> These we're showing here are PL, but uh, swappable into EF, E, uh, Z, all the, all the good stuff. Which one is your favorite between the two? 
It, it, you know what? It's really tough. That's a great question because it's really tough. I've been trying to figure that out myself. I feel like I am going to need both the T8 and the T12 for different reasons if I need that extra reach, without a doubt. Such a good marketing guy. <laughs> Buy both. Enjoy all the world. Huh? <laughs> Amazing. Good. Sean, anything that I forgot to ask or something that you would like to add about those lenses? Because, of course, th those are not uh, everyday lenses, but they have a very, very defined uh, spot when you do production, especially commercials and so on. You know, since we were talking about the history of the probes with us, uh, there are a ton of those older T14 probes out there. And a lot of folks are using those and they haven't even seen the Pro2Bs, which they're the T8s. It's not just a faster lens, it's a complete optical redesign. It, the optics are extremely clean, sharp, and color replication is extremely well. Since nobody's listening or watching, private question about La Roa. It's not a big company, but it's a very inventive one. And the, the, the phase, how fast you bring lenses to the market, how do you do this? Honestly, I'm, I'm really curious to know those guys never sleep or what's going on? Mr. Lee and his team are absolute wizards, I'm convinced. I, I don't even try to understand the magic. I'm just absolutely blown away by it constantly. I think they are in love with the challenges of uh, what they're doing. Yeah, and it, I, I have the same questions all the time, but honestly, I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to go with it because I'm constantly impressed by it. Good. As long, I mean, the, the, obviously the company is um, delivering. People love the lenses. Sean, thank you very much. It was really a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.